There's a place where every Texan has a home. Not just the Texans who gear up for Sunday games, but all Texans. Those who bleed battle red. Those who show their pride in the game they grew up with here in Texas, or the game they came to know when they moved to its greatest state. When you come to Reliance Stadium, there is no question, you're in football country. You'll stand in the shadow of the game's most exciting venue in the company of its most passionate fans. You'll instantly know what it means to be a Texan. I'm a Texan! I'm a Texan! I'm a Texan! I'm a Texan! Football season is something special here. It's more than the game. It's six months of parties, events, and opportunities to get together with friends and family. In our Southeast Texas climate, we look to football as the only reliable way to know the seasons are changing and plenty of chances to make tailgating parties and the thrill of NFL action bigger than ever. Culpepper makes the handoff. He's buried. Mario Williams has a sack. Looking, looking, and he's sacked again inside the 10-yard line. Reliance Stadium is rocking. 2006 came with a mission for the Texans, a mission to usher in the Coach Gary Kubiak era, a mission to build the excitement of NFL football in a city with a proud gridiron tradition. My dream is to see the city win a championship someday. 2006 was a rebuilding year. The first few steps laid out by Coach Gary Kubiak and new general manager Rick Smith to take this franchise to greatness. He's under pressure, and Shante Orr almost takes his head off at midfield. A sack. David's going to scramble forward. David dives for the end zone, and he's got the touchdown. Everyone knew it wouldn't be easy, but true Texans fans stood by the team. And by midseason, when it seemed like the Texans were just missing victories by the thinnest of margins, there was a spirit at Reliance Stadium that maybe, just maybe, the tide was turning. It's caught. Andre Johnson catches it for a touchdown. Wally Lundy, first career touchdown. A victory against a legitimate contender and division rival proved to be a spark to build on. The defense was dominant. The offense showed flashes of brilliance. The Texans beat Jacksonville on Battle Red Day, 27-7. Then, three weeks later, the Texans beat the Jags again, this time on the road. Players like Andre Johnson and Owen Daniels were adding some teeth to offensive weaponry. Mario Williams, D'Amico Ryans, and Dante Robinson anchored a formidable attack on defense. Gerard gets the snap, steps up, fires downfield, and juggled and intercepted. Dante Robinson, the fourth pick of the day. On offense, Andre Johnson turned in the second Pro Bowl season of his young career, weaving through and running over secondaries across the AFC. And over the middle to Owen Daniels proved an efficient, reliable way to move the chains and light up the scoreboard. On defense, fan favorites like Dante Robinson and a resurgent Demarcus Fagans made their presence known. Mario Williams proved he deserved the double teams he got every Sunday. And rookie D'Amico Ryan showed it's not always the size of the bull in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the bull. And he sacked, brought down as D'Amico Ryans came blasting through. With great pleasure and pride that, that I announced that the uh, National Football League's Defensive Rookie of the Year uh, is a our very own D'Amico Ryan. It's a little step and then we're taking as an organization is moving forward toward being a great team. Proud to be here, proud to be a Houston Texan, and you know, proud to have this award. Amid remarkable team and individual performances, overall 2006 was a year of adjustment for the Texans. But they've proven that they could play with the league's best, posting a four-game improvement in the win column over last season. It showed that win or lose, big time plays by some of the best athletes in the game was the best entertainment in Texas. When Indy came to town on Christmas Eve, the Colts were playing for home field advantage in the playoffs. They had never lost to the Texans, but Ron Dane was ready for his breakout game as a Texan. Car hands off to Dane, running right at the crack of daylight across the five, breaks a tackle, he's in again. Ron Dane, his second touchdown of the day. It was the Christmas gift Texans fans had wanted all season long. The snap is down. Brown's kick on the way. It has the distance. And it's good. Merry Christmas. The Texans beat the Colts for the first time ever. Chris Brown good as time runs out. 27-24. The Texans win. On New Year's Eve, the Texans delivered again, closing out the season with a defensive masterpiece over the Cleveland Browns. 
They refused to give up a touchdown and ended the season with a two-game winning streak. Steps up, throws, end zone, and it's picked off by C.C. Brown. It's a fumble recovery. The Texans have it. Maddox on the run. Inside the 20, the 10, the 5, and it's a touchdown for Houston. That's just a taste of where this team is headed and how far they've come. With 2007 comes more Houston Texans excitement. Tailgating parties will cover acres every home game. The Houston Texans cheerleaders, Toro, the bullpen pep band, and more are already gearing up for the new season. Noise levels in the newly named Gridiron Texas will be high for matchups against talented rivals. And the bullpen, along with the rest of the crowd, will be rocking with the promise a new football season brings in Texas. The Texans have sold out all 50 of their home games in their first five seasons. To make sure you are part of the action in 2007, call 866-GO-TEXANS or visit HoustonTexans.com to secure your seats today. The Houston Texans season ticket priority wait list is growing fast, so call today and don't be left out.